Oh, yes, sir. We locked in. Now, hold on. Before y'all get off on me, hold on. I put a plastic bag on my head. It's not a, um, what's it called? A bonnet, right? That's what it's called, right? It's called a bonnet, right? Yeah, this is a plastic bag on my head. I need to get my other light. Hold on, hold on. You ready for this? Watch, watch, watch. Hold on. Get it. Okay, hold, here we you seen it yeah it turned on yeah i got a plastic bag on my head i didn't feel like putting the bonnet on because yeah you feel me because i just got back from work i didn't want to you know get all types of stuff on my bonnet so i just put a plastic bag on my head i wet my hair i washed it a little bit and i put a plastic bag don't judge me okay okay we here for the same goddamn reason to watch the video don't focus on me but anyway yeah you know today hold on hold on you doing good you doing good you know i gotta ask you that you know you know i always gotta ask y'all if y'all doing good because I'm nosy, you feel me? But anyway, today we're watching eight most disturbing things caught on doorbell camera footage. I can already tell you, this video is going to piss me off. I'm going to be real. It's doorbell footage, okay? People be acting weird at 2 o'clock in the goddamn morning for no reason. They want to sit in the front of your yard looking at your camera for no reason. I'm telling you. But anyway, I ain't got much time to sit here and mess around with y'all. I'm going to be real. I'm trying to record this and edit the video and record something else. I know. Too much shit. Chill out. But anyway, we got 16. 16, uh 26 minutes what 16 minutes and 26 seconds to be exact so uh yeah y'all gonna have to get comfortable i'm gonna be real it ain't well this shit gonna definitely be over 20 minutes but anyway shut up we're here to watch the video let's get to it mm-hmm yeah hold on where my glasses at on November 30th, 2021, a Twitter user from Dallas reported that her doorbell camera had recorded a suspicious man standing outside of her apartment almost every night for an entire month. Every night for an entire month? Hell no, that nigga's on drugs. Every night? It's either he on drugs or he a stalker. Simple as that. According to her tweet, she had already reached out to the authorities, but they hadn't done enough to keep the man away. This is what her ring camera captured. Boy, chill out. What is wrong with him? Is he smiling? Hell no. Boy. Realistically, if I'm a girl, no matter what, okay, girl, guy, whatever the fuck. If you did this two nights, the moment I catch this and I notice you've been doing it for a couple of nights, I'm going to be real. I'm going to shoot your ass. I'm going to be real with you. Nigga, if I notice you come at a certain time, I'm going to shoot your ass. I definitely. If it, all you need is most likely two nights. If I catch this back to back two nights in a row, yeah, you're going to be seeing Jesus in the, in the next night. I'm going to be real. You definitely, nigga, I'm going to come out with a shotgun, grenades. I'm going to come out with a tomahawk i'm gonna throw that bitch and i'm gonna shoot you and i'm gonna throw the grenade just to make sure you dead i'm gonna be real with you you fucking up you crazy as shit boy i'm gonna put you 15 feet under and then he got the nerve to walk away like ain't nothing really big going on is he drunk oh no he got the hood on too though in most of the clips, the man can be seen standing eerily still outside of the woman's apartment, mm -hmm. possibly waiting for her to come outside. At one point in the video, the man can be heard talking, but his words are difficult to make out. Oh, okay. Is he smiling right here? It's unknown what he planned to do if the woman stepped out of her apartment, mm. but judging by his behavior, it likely wasn't anything good. Mm -mm. After the original upload, the disturbing video immediately went viral, with hundreds of people checking in on the woman to make sure she was safe. Mm -hmm. Two days later, the woman posted an update on Twitter, in which she mentioned that her friends and family had confronted the man, and that security had been on the lookout for him. Hell yeah! Many people who viewed the video urged the uploader not to let her guard down, and reminded her that the likelihood that the man would show up again was very high. Mm -hmm. But after the last Last tweet in December 2021, there haven't been any more updates, and the man's identity hasn't been publicly revealed. To the female that's happening to, you must look bad as shit to him. I'm gonna be real. Like, nigga, this is... Obviously, he's weird, okay? He's stalking you like OD. But nigga, nigga, like, being real, he doing this much every day at a... Boy, chill out. Yeah, I'm glad your family stepped in, because if not, you was gonna have to step in with a gun. You know, I'm gonna be real. With a Glock, with a shotgun, grenade, a bazooka. You know, you was gonna have to do something. I ain't gonna lie. You know, me personally, uh, I ain't gonna have nobody stalk me. I'm gonna be real. You 
you stalk me and I notice you stalking me, that's the last time you gonna be stalking me. I'm gonna be for real. It's either the cops gonna get involved or you gonna you gonna meet Jesus the same day. I'm gonna be real with you, buddy, buddy, sister, whatever you is. But another thing you could do, you could move. I know moving is expensive. I don't know how long you've been there. You know, I'm gonna be real. That's just another thing to do if you don't know what to do. I'm just letting you know. You know, throwing out ballpark shit. You know, yeah. yeah, yeah. This clip was captured in November 2019 in Harriet Creek Ranch, Texas. Hell no! It was later uploaded to TikTok and Facebook. The footage shows a little girl holding a flashlight and knocking on the door of an unoccupied house in the middle of the night. A little girl? Oh my god. Holy shit, what do you do right here? If I see a little kid outside knocking on my house, is he the setup? Or two, they literally in danger. I'm gonna be real. If I see a little kid like, nigga, she look young as shit. I'm gonna think the worst. Like, I'm thinking somebody chasing her. I'm gonna have my Glock though. So, I mean, shit. <laughs> you press me. You, you know, yeah. You feel me? You gonna get your shit pushed back. But hold on. I feel, hold on. Let's watch some more. Help, please. Oh my God. What you doing out this late? Who is? Oh my God, she about to break my door down. The girl is obviously scared, yeah. but because nobody else can be seen on the camera, it's hard to tell who or what she was running from. Shit, what the fuck is As that? As she continues to knock and beg for help, she looks over her shoulder several times, but mm. the footage ends abruptly, leaving many questions unanswered. Damn, did she Shortly get- Shortly after it was recorded, the video was made public and police were notified of the incident. Mm -hmm. But from what I was able to find, the girl was never identified. Okay. Some think that she was being used as bait to get the homeowners to open the door, and see? several people commented on Facebook and TikTok that they could clearly see a man hiding in the shadows behind the girl. Really? But it was never confirmed whether that's what was happening, or if the little girl was actually in danger and yeah. genuinely asking for help. Mm -hmm. Another theory that surfaced is that the girl in the video might have been the same girl from a missing person case in South Dakota. Whoa. In February 2019, a nine-year-old girl named Serenity Denard ran away from a youth home in Black Hills and was allegedly seen in just in Texas a few days before the video was recorded. Oh my god. The fact god. that the little girl knocked on the door of an unoccupied house shows that she clearly didn't live in the area. Mm. Otherwise, she would have known nobody was there, which makes this theory a possibility. Mm -hmm. Although there's definitely a resemblance between the girl in the video and Serenity, police didn't confirm whether the video and the missing person case were related. Yeah. Unfortunately, not a lot of official information on this footage has been made public, and we'll likely never know what ended up happening to the little girl. Mm. See, like I said, if I was being a good Samaritan and I open the door, first of all, I'm gonna hope, me personally, I'm gonna have a screen door too. So I got two doors to open. I'm gonna open the first door and I'm gonna ask her what's wrong. Meanwhile, I got a shotgun, bazooka, AK-47. <laughs> I'm strapped, okay? So um, you could try your luck at trying to get me all you want. If you some sketchy ass dude behind her or some shit, you could try your luck all you want. <laughs> I'm gonna put your ass under the ground. I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, if this shit really is, it's like some serious shit going on. Hold on, nigga. This shit kind of... This is disturbing. You know, seeing somebody really feel like their life is in danger. I ain't gonna lie, you know? I feel like we will end up getting this... All the details on this story. Low key. We could in like within the, the next 10 years. Low key. Low key. I don't know when this shit came out. This shit could have came out 2002. That's been a while. But uh, it could, you know. You know, me personally, I know some sketchy shit going on. I would have a 360 view of my house. That's how many cameras I'm gonna have on my house. Nigga, you ain't gonna catch me like it. And I'm gonna have five dogs well not really but i'm gonna have at least two dogs so yeah you could try your luck all you want <laughs> nigga i am the federal agency over here in this disturbing ring camera footage from 2021 a woman in a hoodie can be seen approaching the front door of a house in the middle of the night what you trying Behind to block her, a man wearing a face mask and a lanyard stands on the steps as she rings the doorbell okay oh yeah i'm about to put two people under the ground now hold on Nigga, hold on. Nigga, where is the music coming from? Is they playing music? Why do I hear a song? Okay. Doorbell cameras are meant for homeowners to see who's at their door and communicate with their visitors to decide whether or not it's a good idea to let them in. Communicate? But in this case, the owner opens the door without hesitation. Oh, hell no. You tripping. 
You was tripping. Hello, do y'all have a phone I can use? My car broke down, and y'all's the only one that got a light on. We don't. You don't? Sorry. Bro. Oh, he can't get in? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he said I'm not the one. Okay, let's see it then. Why we still the woman okay. tells him that her car broke down and asks if she can use his phone. The owner politely refuses, but as soon as he apologizes and closes the door, the man with the face mask tries to break into the house with a weapon in hand. Fortunately, the owner had locked the second door just in time. Mm. It's unknown if he called the police, but from what I could find, the identities of the man and woman haven't been revealed. Mm. What makes this footage even more chilling is the fact that there's a playground in the yard, which means the two had specifically targeted a house where they knew there would most likely be kids inside. Had I the guess. homeowner not reacted quickly, he and his family would have probably been the victims of an armed robbery or possibly much worse. See, this is why if you with a lover, okay? Okay, look, to the females out there, you know, I'm just telling y'all, you know, or, you know, to the, you know, anybody, okay? If you got a lover, y'all should both know how to use a gun, realistically. Because uh, if I can't get to my gun, sweetheart, I'm gonna expect you to pull that bitch out and, and, and let them know what, you know, let them have some bullets for fun. I'm gonna be real. You know, if I'm at the door and for some reason my dumb ass open the door at 12 o'clock at night without a goddamn gun, nigga, I must be drunk, okay? I'm gonna be real with you. If I open the door and do some dumb shit, I'm expecting my girl to be in the back strapped looking like Rambo in the back. She gonna have bullets strapped all around her. She gonna have a shotgun, an AK-47 on her back, grenades, flashbangs. I'm expecting her to pull out with a goddamn national army, okay? We gonna take their ass down, especially if you got kids. I think if you have kids, no matter what, I think both parents or lovers should know how to use a gun. I'm gonna be real. It helps, you know, it helps, you know. If our dogs don't get them, shit, we will push their shit back. Okay. That's why I say dogs is the best line of security. You know, they gonna let you know bullshit is around the corner. They gonna start barking when they smell some sketchy ass nigga around the corner. In February 2020, an off-duty police officer received a message from his neighbor asking him to go check on his wife because somebody was trying to break into their house mm -mm. and the woman was home alone. The man immediately walked across the street to his neighbor's house, but didn't see anything suspicious. When he came back, he saw that his neighbor had sent him this clip. Boy. Oh, he on that shit. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, he definitely on that shit. The video shows a shirtless man crawling up the stairs to the front entrance of the house and attempting to open the door. Mm. Realizing it's locked, he walks back down the stairs and makes his way to the side of the house. Mm. After viewing the footage, the man immediately called 911, and 10 minutes later, four officers arrived in the neighborhood with a canine unit to help track down the intruder. Oh god damn. What followed was an intense game of cat and mouse involving the neighbors, the police, and the shirtless man. Mm. Although he was spotted by the neighbors multiple times, he managed to slip away from the cops every single time. Mm. Several minutes into the search, the man heard his neighbor calling from across the street, saying that he could hear someone in his backyard. The two men scoured the outside of the house and eventually found that the back porch light had been unscrewed, but the shirtless man was nowhere to be seen. About an hour later, the man who uploaded the video walked down onto his back deck and spotted the intruder unscrewing another porch light, this time from the house across the street. Oh my god! Chill out. Oh, we got footage. Oh, shit. We got him. Oh, yeah, we got him. Oh, yeah, he's done for. That nigga took off running. Bro, that nigga is unscrewing your porch lights and taking them. Oh, my God, nigga. This is the nigga. This low key is impressive. He's going around taking niggas porch lights. Oh, my God. I never thought of a criminal would do this. With weapon in hand, the man intercepted the intruder and ordered him to get on the ground. Hell yeah. But the shirtless man took off running and ended up sneaking into the crawl space of a nearby house. A crawl the uploader space. waited until the police arrived. And after he was ordered out of the crawl space, the intruder was charged with two counts of aggravated burglary, trespassing, public intoxication, and disorderly conduct. Hell yeah. Police revealed that the subject was under the influence of hard drugs. Oh, we could tell. And had a warrant for failing to appear in court for another open case of burglary from earlier that same year.
Mm. It's unclear if he was convicted of all the charges against him, but considering his criminal history, it's more than likely that he's still serving time today. Mm. Let me just say to people like him, y'all lucky if y'all get caught by the police before me. If I call the police, it's because I feel bad for you. Because nigga, I will put you 80 feet under if I could. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't wanna shoot your ass. But if I have to, I will shoot your ass in a heartbeat if I got a family inside my house. That's how that shit goes. I'm letting your crazy ass know. Me calling the police is a warning. It's me saying, okay, I feel bad for you. I don't wanna shoot your ass. But you know, I want you to be taken in by the cops. I want somebody to stop you. Because if I gotta be the one to stop you, you ain't gonna like me, buddy. I ain't gonna lie, you ain't gonna like me. I'm gonna put your ass down there. This footage was captured at 4.30 a.m. on April 29th, 2023. The hell? It happened in El Paso, Texas. This motherfucker look like a desert. Is this, what is, is this, is this sand or is this snow? Nigga, this don't look like no grass. Is this stone? No, hell no, no way. No way this is stone, right? Or like some, some, uh, concrete, huh? The video shows a young woman running up to the front door of a house and ringing the doorbell. Oh my God, you Although like nobody else can be seen in the frame, terrified, she looks over her shoulder multiple times as if she was being followed. Mm. He looked like a stripper. I feel bad to say that only because she only wearing a dress, but he looked toe up looking. I ain't gonna lie. I hear a dog. That's a good sign. Okay, if you in this position right here, okay, you you some stripper looking girl coming to my house. Even if I ain't got a family, I'm gonna tell your ass to take ten steps back. First of all, secondly, I'm coming to the door with a shotgun. You know, obviously, that's that's obvious. But I'm just letting you know, if you want help from me, you knock on my door and you sit back a little bit. Okay, if you hugging my goddamn door, you're an intruder in my case. I will shoot your ass on the spot. Don't touch my goddamn house. I'm going to be real with you. But yeah, you you need to back your ass up a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just make sure you ain't close to shit. I don't want to open the door and you hugging me. Okay, back your ass up. Who's she hiding from? Hold on, nigga. Oh my god okay what's she doing now is she drunk or is she actually hiding from somebody she look like she hiding the woman begs for help and starts crying when nobody answers the door why she didn't go to the neighbor's house they she seen the light on why didn't she go over there Sketchy behavior. And a few seconds later, a car's headlights come into view in the background. Mm. Why you got down? The, light, the woman crouches down behind a column, and mm. she does the same thing again when she sees the neighbor's driveway lights turn on. Exactly. Why you acting sketchy? I can see the car lights. Maybe somebody was chasing her in a car, but I'm saying them lights, shit, you might as well get in them hoes. Oh, some more headlights? After a few minutes of waiting, a car's headlights illuminate the driveway and the woman walks down the steps towards it. Mm. It's possible that she got in the car, but this wasn't caught in the ring camera. Yeah. As soon as the footage was made public, many people started speculating that the woman might have been the victim of trafficking and was Could trying be. to escape her captors. Yeah. But others believe that she had a totally different motive. Several viewers mentioned that if she really had been Why she tried to cover the camera immediately? In danger, she wouldn't have hid from the neighbors when she saw their driveway lights turn on. My point. Another thing that caught viewers' attention is the fact that at the very beginning of the video, the woman isn't actually running. She appears to be casually walking up the steps, and she only begins to run when she comes into view of the doorbell camera, yeah. which suggests that the whole thing might have been a robbery setup. Could be. Less than a month after the footage was uploaded, El Paso police arrested 34-year-old Krista Nicole Cordell for burglary. After That's what she looked like? Hold on. She looked low-key good, but low-key fucked up looking. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm, I'm, it's you, use a, use a mixed bag for me. You can either be beautiful or you could just be a fucked up looking individual. I ain't gonna lie. You in between. I don't know. You look like you got hit by a crowbar, but you look like you take care of yourself. So I can't tell. I'm gonna be real with you. You use an interesting specimen. El Paso police arrested 34-year-old Krista Nicole Cordell for burglary. After her mugshot was released, some people believed that it was the same woman from the video due to the resemblance. 
but police never officially I confirmed guess. this. Yeah, the, the girl in the video looked low key. I ain't gonna lie, unless she lost some weight, she looked a little. She looked low key like more bussy looking. You know, she looked like she got a little more weight on her. You feel me? You know, this girl look the mugshot. Look, she looked kind of like scrawny and skinny. She looked, you know, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not that very good with the human anatomy, but I'm just saying she looked like she like smaller in the mugshot than what she is in the other. One. It's unclear if she's she not big though. In the neighborhood again to be free and flexible and creative with in 2022 a reddit user uploaded this disturbing ring camera footage with the caption zombies want your brain mm. the video shows a young man in a bandana covered in what appears to be dirt or blood repeatedly slamming himself into the front door of a house <laughs> yeah if you hit my door hard as shit once you got 10 seconds to get off my property unless you no, you just got 10 seconds to get off my property because when i open that door i am shooting your ass with everything i got nigga don't you dare press against my door and try to break it nigga i will shoot your ass on the spot with everything i got i will unload the whole clip on you just just to let you know i mean business okay don't you dare in your life try to do this shit you trying to see the lord as quickly as possible if you do this shit to me he charging into it too yeah go on and hurt yourself on his third attempt to break down the door he apparently knocks himself out after hitting his head dumbass stumbling after the impact the man collapses over the front porch railing knocking over an ornament in the process mm -mm. and you damaging my property oh god damn oh my god he's really fucked up boy right here hold on hold on let me move my camera just to let y'all know right here you see him right here i would have came outside and i would have if you know seamus from wwe you know his his signature his special move is the bro kick i would have bro kicked the shit out you off my goddamn balcony and, now the and i would have shot your ass after i did it boy i would have celebrated on your ass you got me fucked up <laughs> I know I'm kind of in a way, but uh, I'm gonna let it rock. He just, he just over the rail, you know. Ain't nothing serious. He groans in pain as he flails his arms and raises his legs, mm. seemingly trying to get back on his feet. But the video ends before we can see what happened next. Mm. After the footage was uploaded, many viewers commented that the man was probably under the influence of hard drugs. Hell yeah. Which would explain his uncoordinated movements and violent behavior. Sure would. Other users suggest that he might have had a seizure after hitting his head on the door. But because the video was uploaded with no context or explanation, it's impossible to confirm what actually happened. Yeah. After that night, the homeowner never saw the man again. Yeah, he ain't, he ain't my problem no more. On July 24th, 2021, a woman named Caitlin Curtis took her baby to the park across the street from her house in Arizona. After sitting down on the bench next to a fountain, a scruffy looking man suddenly approached her, sat on the bench next to her, and asked her if she wanted to buy his drawings. Hell According no. According to Caitlin, the drawings looked like they had been drawn by a little kid, or by someone with no artistic talent. Yeah. After politely refusing to buy the drawings, she got up and left the park with her baby in the stroller. As she was leaving, she saw the man get into the passenger seat of a suspicious looking truck at the other end of the park, which then circled around her several times as she made her way back home. Afraid that she was being followed, Caitlin took a different route back to her house and entered through the back door so that the men in the truck wouldn't know where she lived. Yo. Three days later, when Caitlin was out of town, her doorbell camera captured the same man walking up to the front door of her house and ringing the doorbell at three in the morning. Three in the morning? Oh hell no, nah. this nigga look goofy as shit. Oh no. Shit loud. Nigga look goofy as shit. Oh, they definitely stalking her. Yeah, you need to put a bear trap out outside your house, sweetheart. Look at him. This motherfucker look crazy. And he got an extended forehead too. Oh my god. God damn, how long he's standing right here? What the f boy? According to Caitlin, her husband was asleep while the whole thing was happening. Oh, she got a husband? Oh yeah. I have a girlfriend or a wife. 
let me see a man outside our house and she gone and he pull up to my house at three in the morning if you pull up to my house after after 9 30 if you pull up to my house after 9 30 nigga psh, you on my hit list 100 percent, nigga psh, what the hell you doing in my house at 9 30 nigga you could come at eight o'clock 8 30 and 9 30 is where it's cut it shuts off at or nine o'clock low key it depends on how bright it is you know nine times out of ten is not bright at nine o'clock you know it's just it's gonna be dark but 9 30 you asking for it buddy nine o'clock you know i'll be reasonable i might look outside the window i might crack one door open just to see what you want other than that boy he didn't learn about the man's visit until the next day mm. after the video was uploaded to tiktok some users commented TikTok. that the fact that the man rang her doorbell specifically was not a coincidence mm. and that he might have been watching her from the day they met in the park 100%. It's possible that he was using the drawings to try and distract her while the other man in the truck abducted her child, but we'll likely never know his intentions for sure. What? Nigga, where did this lord come from? What the fuck? Did I miss something? If my wife recognize a dude that comes up to my porch at 3 o'clock in the morning, it's obvious they stalking her. So, uh, you better count your days, buddy. Either the police gonna get you, I'm gonna put your ass under the ground, buddy. The incident could just be written off as a man who was under the influence of drugs or suffering from mental illness. Could be. But if Caitlin hadn't been careful, it's anyone's guess what might have happened. Yep. Fortunately, the man never came back, and neither Caitlin nor her family had seen him again. Mm, good thing for him. In October 2021, Reddit user Protomancer uploaded this footage of a man crawling and slithering through his neighbor's yard in the middle of the night. Slithering? Motherfucker think he a snake? Where? Oh, that's him? Oh my god, he might be shot. What if it's a skin crawler? Hell no. Nigga, that shit is like this camera there doesn't appear to be best. any context surrounding the video but most users attributed the man's particular behavior to drug use or possibly mental illness mm. even though he isn't hurting anybody this is probably not the type of person you would want to run into on your way back from home in the middle of the night hell no the man in the footage hasn't been identified and it's unclear if he ever showed up again I mean, shit, he didn't really show up. He just was in front of y'all camera. It ain't like he went up on your porch. The nigga just was crawling down the sidewalk. What do you do if it's like 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock in the morning, okay? And you driving and you see somebody on the sidewalk crawling. I asked y'all that just to see if y'all fucked up in the head. Because, nigga, I ain't stopping. What the fuck I look like, nigga? I am hauling that. Nigga, I am driving past them. Like, nigga, basically, like, I passed, like, a, a speed limit sign or whatever the fuck. I see them on the ground crawling. I'm like, oh, God. God damn, that nigga fucked up. And right when I pass him, I'm gonna be like, well, you know, shit, oh, it happens to the best of us, you know? And I'm gonna keep driving. Nigga, what the fuck I look like? I ain't stopping to, to help some sketchy ass person 12 to three o'clock in the morning. There's exceptions though. Like I said, exceptions are kids and really, it, it really just comes down to kids and women. If I see a dude that's running to say he need help, I just feel like you should be able to handle whatever situation you in. Cause if a dude can't handle the situation he in, it's a very fucked up situation, buddy. You must have five niggas chasing you but if it's like a, a woman or a kid as a man it just makes me feel like i'm gonna kind of feel guilty if i don't like see the situation out kind of like shit but uh i'm definitely gonna have a weapon on me though hell yeah you ain't gonna get my ass if i seen a girl running i'm talking about hauling ass at three o'clock in the morning and i'm like in the city and i see her hauling ass around like three blocks you know i'm gonna scan what she look like do she look fucked up to me does she look like she's on drugs if i see somebody actually running after her i'm low-key gonna be like whoa oh my god something going on i'm gonna be nosy i'm gonna be real but if she like hauling ass and like i see red flags on her i ain't stopping she just might be on drugs i'm gonna write it off as that it's you know you gotta pick the poison you feel me if a kid come knocking at my door at 12 o'clock in the morning to like three o'clock in the morning if i see the ring cam and hear it and shit like that i definitely will be skeptical i'm still going to the door with an ak-47 like nigga you ain't catching me lacking period but i'm definitely gonna be like holy shit this shit could be bad because if i was a kid and i was in the same situation i would hope nobody would look at me at a ring door and be like i ain't going to help that little ass kid that little kid's scared 
get you. I would at least see it through. I would hope they would see it through. Because, shit, you could save somebody's life doing that shit. But, it, it, you know, it matters. It depends, you know. I ain't going to just open up no door for no random stranger. Even a kid. I'm going to be behind the window screaming, saying, hey, you all right out there? I come out there if you need help. But other than that, you better get your ass off my porch. I will curse a little kid out in a heartbeat.